The International Business Times is reporting that North Korea executed three women for circulating a South Korean TV show. They say, quote, uh, the women resided in northern Ryang, or Ryangyang province, I know I'm butchering that, forgive me, uh, and were detained by police officials for recording a South Korean drama based on a true story of a North Korean dancer who defected to the South in the 1990s. Uh, a report in July said that North Korea has executed 1,382 people over the last 15 years under the, under the leadership of uh, Kim Jong-un, I guess they mean Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-il, of course. Uh, the executions were allegedly conducted for uh, multiple reasons, including drug smuggling and watching films. The findings are part of an annual report from a South Korean think tank and consist of accounts from defectors between 2008 and 2014. All right, so um, let me just be clear about this. It, should you have a slight grain of salt with this? Yes, because it's coming from a, a, a South Korean think tank, and naturally, if there's anybody who's has an incentive and is biased to say negative things about North Korea, it would be South Korea. But then again, having said that, do I think that these are at least somewhat credible? Absolutely. Because, number one, they're doing interviews. They did between 2008 and 2014 with defectors. Number two, they have a, a lot of detail in here as well. So, you know, it, it's not just like, eh, I killed him for... just killed him and killed him in this grotesque way and there's no backstory. No, they give a lot of backstory in specific places where it happened. Like, I've been able to, in the past, I've, I've called bullshit on certain stories. Like, there was one... What was it? Not his uncle... Or some, like he was eaten by wolves or dogs, like that's how he had his uncle killed, or one with a fucking giant anti-aircraft gun, he made him stand in front of it. I called bullshit on some of those, and I, it turns out I was right. So every, you have to like pick and choose your North Korean stories. They are a horrific regime, and what, you know, it, they are as close as you could get to the Nazis in all seriousness. They have like concentration camps and hard labor camps where they don't feed the people, they eat fucking rats and shit, we know all that. So they're bad, but still, every once in a while, the stories are, are, are fake. But these, I believe this one. And I believe it because they describe the show, and you realize, oh yeah, no, they would kill somebody over that. So, like, they, allegedly, they do it if you watch anything that's, you know, from out, that's not approved. But they definitely would prioritize if somebody, and it wasn't just they were watching it, they were, like, distributing it. It was a South Korean show about a defector from North Korea who talks about how evil the North Korean regime is and how she escaped that. And so it's something that directly hurts the pride of the dear leader. So they're like, okay, execution. But think about how crazy that is, man. Execution for watching a fucking show. Watching a show. They also say that in 2013, two college students were executed for watching porn. You know, I could deal with a lot of stuff, but when you talk about killing people because they watch porn, that hits home, dog. <laughs> I mean, you would have had to kill me 700,000 times over? <laughs> I mean, I'm 27 now, I don't know when I started jerking off, but I was pretty young. That's a lot of, of nuts that have been busted. I would have been killed a lot, man. Just for watching porn. How dare you give in to your natural urges? What do you think? You, you know, you're a human? That's, that's almost, almost, not fully like it, but almost like it. Killing somebody because they have to take a piss. <laughs> or they breathe. Are you acting like a human? You have a sex drive? Ugh. In North Korea, you only jack off to images in your head of clothed women. God damn it. Unbelievable. Uh, look, I'm, I'm joking around here, but in all seriousness, this is as fucked up a regime as it gets, man. I mean, this is, this is bad. I mean, you want to talk about, like, strict, like, ISIS territory, and they say, we have a state, and how they treat people there. The closest fucking thing to that is North Korea, where, you know, they have, it's, it's a state religion, where the demigod is the, the dear leader who they make up all this propaganda. He's never shit in his life, they say. He was able to solve a Rubik's Cube in a matter of seconds. His father shot like an 11 the first time he played golf, which is fucking impossible. All this propaganda. So they make it like a religion, and then it's a mass brainwashing, and then anybody who defects in any little way... Oh my god, you watched a TV show! Kill him! And, you know, some of them have internalized this moral code because they've been 
It's been propaganda from day one and they're brainwashed. Others might not believe it and they're walking on eggshells, but either way, these are people who are living in a horrible uh, state. And the sad thing is, there's really, you can't do anything about it because Kim Jong-un has nukes. He, all day long, he has uh, massive amounts of weaponry and arms aimed at Seoul. So if anybody were to try to do anything, it's just, boom, Seoul's gone. So it, it, it's a permanent hostage crisis, essentially, and it's terrible to watch. And it's something that breaks my heart when I hear stuff like this.